Hey, welcome back to part two of our first part. <laughs> so I hope you liked the first one. We're going to talk a little bit more about the interview process. Um, so we look forward to helping you. And remember, I hope you like my characters. Tell me which ones you like the best. Excellent. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. All right. Now we're going to go to probably the second question. Uh, normally, they're going to ask this question at some point during the interview. More than likely, it might be the second. But at some point, you have to be prepared to answer, what is your greatest weakness? So this is something to, to really think about. Uh, what they're doing is they're testing your emotional intelligence to see whether or not you're self-aware, who you know yourself. Answers like, I'm a perfectionist or I just work too hard don't sound authentic or honest. And in reality, if you're applying for a company or any position, you should be working towards perfectionism and you should be a hard worker. So don't talk about that. Uh, at the moment when you're trying to impress your potential employer, this can be a very stressful uh, question to answer. Never try to dodge a question, but if it does come up, don't panic. What's important to remember is what the interviewers are looking for when they are asking this question. The question is an opportunity for you to showcase how you tackle challenges or problems and show the different sides of your personality. Thank you for coming in today, Bill. We appreciate it very much. Our first question for you today is, what is your greatest weakness? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, first of all, thanks for letting me come in today. But I have no weaknesses. What? You have no weaknesses? That's right. You heard me correct. I have no weaknesses. Wow, that's impressive. Well, I have no more questions. Hold on just a second. Hey, everybody, you can go home now. We found who we've been looking for. Now we're going to try to figure out how to answer that question. And it's a, a very particular way you need to answer this particular question. What is your greatest weakness? There's a formula to it. So you don't want to mention any of the weaknesses that might be a main requirement for the role. Uh, when you think about this question, you have to research the company's culture, values, and you have to thoroughly read the job description so you know exactly what you're talking about or what they require of you when you're talking. If they said something in the job description like, you must be detail-oriented, then obviously you don't want to pick apart the fact that, oh, you're not detail-oriented. You don't even want to mention that. You want to keep away from that. Uh, don't mention any main requirements for the role. Uh, show your employer what you've done to overcome any of any weakness you may have had in the past. When you mention a weakness or a work habit, you need to talk about how you improved upon it. The key is to show the employer what you've done to overcome any problem you've had in the past. So remember, as we talk about what is your greatest weakness to minimize your weaknesses and emphasize your strengths. One of the examples I like to use, and this could apply to whatever background you have, the last job you had, maybe you took on too many tasks. You were not organized. You thought you could handle that by taking on task after task. You realized that you didn't finish some of your projects on time. And so when you find out that that is a problem, you changed it. So you talk about how you became more organized, how you became, uh, you got more uh, programs to help you organize exactly what you were doing. And so therefore you were able to finish the tasks on time and you also minimize the amount of tasks you were taking. So it shows that you're self-aware. It shows you know what you're capable of. It shows you're able to handle any kind of a problem that came, comes up in the future. So you're able to correct that. You're able to make it better. So it's talking about in the past, but it also represents how you're going to handle it in the future. So that's always a great way to minimize that weakness. Don't talk about what's happening now, what might be a weakness right now. Talk about the past, how you've corrected it in the past, and it's going to help you become uh, better, and it's going to help you land that job. Hey, thanks for checking out Tim Talks. We appreciate it very much. We love you guys. We are looking forward to helping you with your career. We're going to have more content. Stay tuned for part two of the interview process and how we can help you with that. We have a lot of content we're going to do every single week. We're going to put something up. If you heard about us on TikTok or Instagram, great. 
check out our channels if you haven't. They're good channels. They're a lot shorter videos. We also are looking forward to providing you with the information you need. If you don't, if you don't see the information you're looking for, ask us to put, talk about it in the comments below. If you have any questions for me or my crew, we'll talk about my crew later uh, in the comments below. Put it there. We'll talk about it. I'll try to answer everything. Uh, excellent. Have a great day. See you next time. Tim Talks.